Today we'll be seeing one of the most essential laws for electrical engineers, that's the Kirchhoff's laws. We'll see the Kirchhoff's current law and we'll see the Kirchhoff's voltage law. That said, let's get into class. First law I want us to look at is the Kirchhoff's current law. Now, in the Kirchhoff's current law, the Kirchhoff's current law states that at any junction in a circuit, now here is a node, at any junction or a node in a circuit, the current flowing towards the node equals the sum of the current flowing out of the node. For this circuit in here, we have three currents flowing into this node, which is I1, I2, and I3. If you see their arrows, I've made their arrows very conspicuous, they are flowing into this node. That is, the sum of current flowing into the node, my I1 plus I2 plus I3, we've been told that the sum of this current will be the same thing as I4 plus I5. Now, you can have a node in whichever dimension. Let me put it that way. Now, instead of having this, what of if I have a node this way, if this is a node, and I have current flowing here, this is I1, and this is I2, and this is I3. And look at here, I have I4 leaving the node. Obviously, we have the sum of current flowing into this node. That will be I1 again, plus I2, plus I3, will be equal to the sum of current flowing out of the node. That's I4. Now, with this, I hope you understand currents. I hope you understand Kirchhoff's current law. Let's see Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law tells us that in a closed loop, the algebraic sum of the voltages, that is, the algebraic sum of this voltage and this voltage, is the same thing as the sum of the voltage drop across the loop. Now, the voltage drops are going to be experienced across the resistors while we have the voltage supplied in the, from the voltage sources. Now that is the algebraic sum. If you look at this example or this diagram, you see that here I have my positive, here I have my negative, here also I have my positive, here I have my negative. The voltages are in two different directions. That is the total or algebraic sum of this voltage will be given as E1 minus E2. Now this algebraic sum is the same thing as the total voltage drop across this loop. That will be I now into R1 plus I again into R2. Because the resistors are in series, so we say they have the same current like we explained when we taught resistors in series and in parallel. Do check the description below if you need to make reference to those lessons. We'll place a link to those lessons in the description below. Now, so that if E1 minus E2 minus E2 is equal to, now there should be bracket, I now will go into R1 plus what? Plus R2. Let's take an example to help us understand this better. Now, my example says that we should determine the value of the EMF E in this figure. Now, if you look at this figure, this figure is actually a closed loop. Do not mind how we have drawn it, whether it's a rectangle, whether it's a triangle, whether it's even a circle. It's a, it's a closed loop. Now, the most important thing for us is, one, we must be able to establish the direction of the voltage in this closed loop. This is positive and this is negative. Here also is positive, my E here, and this is negative. Here is positive and here is negative. You observe that E, the E volt, which is the unknown potential, and my six volts are all in the same direction, but in opposite direction to my four volt, but in the same direction also to the three volt. So that my algebraic sum of my voltage in this case will be E plus six plus three minus four. Now, we equals to I, which is the current in this loop, 
into we have voltage drop across the one ohm resistor plus the two ohm resistor now plus the 2.5 ohm resistor and plus the 1.5 ohm resistor so that e now will be e plus 6 plus 3 minus 4 that will be 6 that will be e plus 5 will be equals to i my i is been given as 2 amps so i can take 2 amps now into 1 plus 2 plus 2.5 2.5 plus 1.5 that's 4 plus 1 that's 5 plus 2 that's 7 so that my e in this case is this plus 5 with the same thing as 14 so that e now will equals to 14 minus 5 which is equals to 9 volts which is equals to 9 volts now e is equals to 9 volts now with this i hope you have an idea of how to apply Kirchhoff's laws, both Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law in electric circuits. In our subsequent lessons for this week, we'll expatiate on this concept with more examples. To ensure you get these examples, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button. That way, you'll be sure to get our lessons anytime we create them. Thank you, and see you in the next class.